Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today I've got, it's Thanksgiving, not Truth Day, and Maniology M327 and Double Bubble. I've already got Nail Teaks Formula 2 on my nails, and here is Moonshine Manny's. It's Thanksgiving, not Truth Day. I know, it's, it's not really that season. Not the season for pumpkin orange that's normally in the fall, but guess what? It was in my untried bucket, and we're wearing it. And I think an orange like this, you know, a bright orange, you can wear that anytime. And if you're like me, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. It's all good, right? You just wear it. If it makes you happy. And getting some of these untrieds worn is making me happy. So, we're good with it. I'm going to get that cleaned up around the cuticle. Hi, Woody. How you doing? And then we're going to go back in with a second coat of It's Thanksgiving, Not Truth Day. I love these Friends polishes, you know, getting to relive the episodes and with all the funny little sayings and stuff. I love it. I am going to top these with the INMs out the door. Get these to dry down some so we can do some stamping. And I will go ahead and just tell you that uh, I don't hit the mark so great on every one of these stamps today. But I'm sharing it because that's how we learn. Isn't that so gorgeous? Maniology M327. It's kind of like a French tip or a fancy French tip plate. And it's been sitting on my desk for quite a while now. And it's been taunting me. And I decided today was the day. Now, I don't have like super long nails. And you don't have to. Um, you can use different parts of this any way you want. Then here we go with Maniology's Double Bubble. It's like a shimmery blue with silver shimmer in it. And so I'm flipping the plate over and using this side, but you could use each level of this. Like in my head, I'm seeing three rows up and then some other stuff on the side. So I pick up my image and I am going in with a piece of tape and removing excess and I realized at this point that I should have used some sticky base because part of that did not stick. And, you know, I just can't be bothered with it. I'm going to, like, pull off the flyaway piece, and that side's just not going to be done. It, this one was totally off to one side. So we're going to see if the second one will be better. Let's see. Give it a real light scrape and not gouge the polish out of the image there. Get that excess up because I don't want to be cleaning it off my knuckle. And we're going to try this. And silly me, like I didn't learn with the first one. A sticky stamping polish. Come on. There we go. Get the sticky, well, sticky base. Not sticky stamping polish. Sticky base down. So I put some sticky base down and I'm using some of the excess left over from the image. And just kind of patching that up there. Okay. There we go. All right. So here we go. Um, putting polish on the plate. And then I realize, oh, you goofy girl. Yeah. You need the sticky base. So I slap a little thin coat of that on there. Put my finger in the polish that's on the stamping plate. Wipe that off. Good gravy. <laughs> Struggle bus. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to pick that image up. Clean it off with a little piece of tape. I'm surprised it didn't just all dry on the plate while I was fiddle farting. I hope it don't get striked for saying that. But anywho. All right. Yay. I finally got one that looks decent. Yay. So here we go. Yay. Gives me hope that one day I might be able to get all of them done that good. There we go. Sticky base again. Let's. Honey, please. So, put the sticky base on and then put the polish on the stamping plate. Don't do as I do. Or just hope you get lucky like I do sometimes. So, here we go. Last one. Yay. Be able to breathe a sigh of relief once I get it done. Okay. I don't know why I'm worried about the sides. That's not going to go on anything. 
So anyway, there we go. And that one looks pretty good too. So, you know, oh, I'm going in with a little bit extra. But here it is. We're going to clean off our scraper card and our stamper plate with some acetone. And then we're going to clean up my little stampy mat. And I got a little off the mat too, so I'm going to have to clean everything up. Got my big mat dirty too, but it's okay. Wiping it with the lint free wipe, make it all shiny again, like new. Clean that up. Yay. Now I'm gonna hop in with a piece of tape. Now this polish dried really quick, so you can see I still have polish on my finger on the underside. <laughs> uh, I'll get that taken care of, I promise. But I do get it off with sticky tape as much as I can and then go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone. Very nice. There we go. We're gonna top it with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to top it with a posh top coat now to seal that stamping in, get it all glossy, and make it all dry quick. All the way down through the layers. So there we have it. There is my manicure. Here is my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.